Okay, folks, the recession is here. The housing crash is here. Or is it? That's the big question that everybody's trying to ask. But if you're listening to CC, CCN.com, they're pushing the narrative that we're going into a major housing crash. And the, the content, and I, don't, I call it content rather than journalism because I truly don't believe it's journalism, the content that they're putting out contradicts itself many times within an article. And so if you read it, um, unfortunately you can't comment uh, since I've been really pushing uh, on on this website about the content they're putting out, they've closed up their 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 uh, their uh, comments, and I I think I posted something about CCN.com a couple of weeks ago, and they got several hundred comments on one of their articles, calling them out for the false narrative that they're pushing, and they're holding on to a couple of different things. One is a Fannie Mae sentiment report that came out, and then the other one is a NAR report that just recently came out. And yes, home buying sentiment has gone down. Yes. More people think it's not as good of a time to buy than before, but that doesn't mean it's not a good time to buy. When you start pushing these narratives, and in fact, they even go as far as quoting Robert Schiller, who ironically has written a book about called Narrative Economics, which is a great read that you should read, that talks about how uh, viral stories can move markets and change the sentiment. So the funny thing is, is that you know, for example, uh, I think it's his name is Harsh Charhan. Apologize if I butchered your name, but I have to call you out on this. This is really wrong what you're doing, pushing this narrative in multiple articles a week, saying, you know, the funny thing is the most recent one concludes that further, a poll of 100 economists says that they're, we're going to go into a recession because 35% believe there's going to be a recession. Actually, 65% believe there's not going to be a recession or housing crash. So I'm trying to understand the point of pushing this narrative. I don't know if it's political. I don't know if it's uh, philosophical, uh, ideological, or what the deal is. But using the, these narratives and pushing that there's going to be a housing crash when all signs point that there's not, there's is an affordability issue and it is harder to afford homes but I'm going to get to that point in a second because yes there's affordability issue there's low uh, there's low supply of homes and you have a record number of Millennials coming off the sidelines starting to buy homes and that's not going to change and, and wages have gone up about 2.2 percent according to uh, Mark Fleming which I love his insight with First American when you take into account wages, lower interest rates, and it actually homes are more affordable than they were even at the peak of the market and then they were a year ago because of the increase in wages, the more affordability on mortgages. And the, the article by CCN, many of them, I'm sorry, the content by CCN, many of them comments on how uh, you know wages haven't kept up and how house prices are getting too high and therefore they're hitting this point where it's going to crash. Well, that doesn't make sense on basic economic principles that uh, once you hit a certain a certain point and people can't afford to buy, the house prices will just slowly to the demand. It's basic economic principles that they're ignoring and I don't know, understand. And so I'm gonna continue on Twitter, on, uh, on LinkedIn, to call out CCN.com and its content writers, Harsh Charan and Sam, uh, I don't get his last name, but uh, both of them are really pushing this. I'd love to know this, that why they're pushing that narrative. I'd love to know what you think, because uh, you can't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype that people are pushing out there that we're going into a housing crash because it could become a, a self-manifested prophecy. And read Robert Schiller's Narrative Economics or just understand the basic principles, which is, that viral stories can actually move markets and a narrative that's being pushed. So I'm hoping that people see my content and they mention it to a friend at a party or a friend somewhere and say, hey, you should look at this guy's content instead of the articles that's being put out that I'm sorry for most of you that don't read the entire article, that read the headline in the first paragraph. But if you read through the article, it'll contradict itself. So do your due diligence. And that means you do due diligence on the content that you're reading. And CCN.com, please stop what you're doing because you're pushing a false narrative. That's my rant for the day. I appreciate you listening. And please comment, share, uh, connect with me. If you don't agree, I'd love to hear it. Thank you.